What We Can Rebuild You is all about is reaching out to our community here in our Smyrna, Marietta area. We were looking for 12 people that we could follow. When we created the Rebuild program, we knew that there was this whole other population where they were exercise averse and they had many more limitations than the average person. And so it was focused on people who were 55 and older or had limited mobility. So they might have back problems, knee problems, just joint problems that made it hard for them to do the regular workout. So um, we developed this, this program called DPY Rebuild. It was a unique thing that we were going to try over here at the Performance Center and all 12, 13 of them, they're all people that we want to work with because they all want it. It was really cool to see people from their 20s all the way up to people in their 70s, which really was proof to us that, you know, this isn't about an age group. It's about people who feel like they need to have hope that there's a program for them and that there's a program they can actually do. My name is Jerry Cameron. I'm 51 years old. I'm Karen Holloman, 62 years old. My name is Sean, I'm uh, 49 years old. My name is Mildred Mason and I'm 63 years old. I go by Keith and I'm um, 47 now, yeah, 47. My name's Suzanne Lawless. My name is Michelle. My name is Nancy Sanders. <laughs> I'm Marty Harding. Uh, my name is Tim Booker. My name is Hannah Peak. I am Amanda. Um, from Georgia, born and raised. Rebuild is really all about people having hope again, finding themselves again, finding that, that I can turn this around because most people, they just quit. I got medically discharged from the military back in 2014 because of all my injuries. They say, you, you know, you can't get deployed no more. I have knee issues and lower back issues, and I found out earlier this year I'm a diabetic. I've got a bad back, a bad leg, and a bad arm, and a bad knee, <laughs> so I need help. I got into two car accidents within two years. I've had some cancer issues. I messed up my back probably 15 years ago. Never did anything about it till I had to. Got it one day, couldn't walk. I had a complete foot reconstruction on my right foot and an ankle fusion. Just regular daily function is sometimes a struggle. Sorry. <laughs> when we, whenever we start working with somebody who comes in with kind of maybe low self-esteem or lacks confidence in what they're capable of, it's an interesting thing for us because we've seen it so many times. Like this dramatic shift happens in their minds where they start believing in themselves and then this momentum kicks in, and then they want to do more. Yo, Adam. <laughs> hey man, just worked out with your girl here and she killed it. The thing I'm proudest of, of everything here, the crew, the crew because everybody, from the person who greets you at the door to the person who's the president of the company, they really give a shit. And that's what makes us different than everybody. It's super gratifying. They want to put in the work and they're so grateful for the opportunity. They're humble about it. This is just as much for my own mental health as everybody else is in there. Because when I'm helping them, it helps me feel good about what I'm contributing and what I'm doing. To be able to pay it forward and to try to make it better for them, it's like, for us, it's like we're like, we're like proud parents in there, like Pat and I are in there and you might see footage of us, we're just sitting there smiling or we're sitting there just like, wow, this is awesome. We create an environment where everyone has a place, everyone belongs, you know? Everyone's got a different story, everyone has different limitations. Everyone has different struggles. If they're willing to put in the work and everything, there will be some results. They just want to help other people. And it just makes it so much easier for us because that's what we focus on. And we focus on building friendships and real relationships. If we just care about other people, the business side tends to just take care of itself. <laughs>